Welcome to the women of Sweet Swain County. I'm very excited today to share today's program with you where we talk about all the happenings inside and outside of Sweet Swain County. Yes, we are very excited. Today we have a musical and a an, an creative artsy guest to interview, which is, I think it's going to be just great fun. Plus, yes. of course, spotlights on cities outside of Sweet Swain County. I mean, what more can you ask for? Absolutely. Well, ladies, before we bring our guests out, um, I have to tell you, we've been getting lots of emails. They are all about the great places and the great people that live in Minnesota and in Sweet Swain County. Are any of the emails just about here in Sweet Swain County? No, this one is about outside Sweet Swain County They're all this about time. Outside Sweet Swain. But that Sweet is Swine. good, you know? Mm -hmm. I know that you really are all really about all Sweet about Swain County, Sweet but County. you need to open your mind a little bit, honey. Let's try that. I have an email that is very interesting, and I know that you guys are dying to hear about oh, yes. Actually, I have it, and I'll give it to you now. Thank you. Okay, so this is it. Hi, ladies. Your show has already become one of my favorites. Do you spend a lot of time together when you're not shooting? No. Are you kidding are me? Are you kidding? No. <laughs> Knowing the three of you love to shop, Harry and I, mm -hmm. no, I wanted to share with you a store that I discovered outside Sweet Swine County. Outside. The shop is called Anchor Uniform, and they carry a full line of nursing items. It's in our neighboring county of Martin mm -hmm. and in the town of Furman. New owners, Ken and Margaret Harris, are very friendly people and give each customer personal attention. Mm -hmm. They carry great brands, such as Cherokee, Ooh. Lando, White Swan, Barco, and Peaches Nursing Uniforms. Mm -hmm. Also, they carry or can get medical accessories for nurses, EMTs, Ooh. paramedics. Yep. Wow. Did you know we had that here? No. I did not know that. Now no. you do. This is one great store, and I believe they are planning a grand opening on September 1st. Oh, wow. Just thought you should know. Yeah. Your fan, Nurse Jane. Hmm. Hey, I have a friend that is a nurse. I think I'm going to stop by there and pick her up something from Anchor Uniform. You should. Now, you should. can we see another one of those reports from outside Sweet Swine County? Yes, you need to be more educated. Hello there, I'm Lady Dot from Spottingham, England. Yes, good to see you again. And today, right now, I am putting spots on my map on several small communities that I find to be spot on. And I'd like you to join me as we learn a little bit about some of these communities. In fact, I have one in mind for today that you might rather enjoy. So please join me as we explore this community together. Located between two major highways, Slayton is known as the hub city of southwest Minnesota. Cities such as Pipestone, Marshall, Wyndham, and Worthington are neighbors within a 30-mile radius of Slayton, which forms the hub of the network. Now, didn't I tell you that was one fabulous community? Now, let's take a look at some of their businesses. Another fabulous town in southern Minnesota. And now, without further ado, I want to introduce you, Billy Cruz. Here we go. Welcome, Billy. We're so happy to have you here. Very happy. Thank you for coming. Thank you very much. It's good to be here. It's good. Billy, tell us, where are you from? I'm from the northwest corner of Martin County, a little town called Ormsby. We Never live been on a there. farm outside mm -mm. the town. I've been there. But recently, recently, we moved into a cabin for the summer out on Swine wow. Lake. Hey, Ooh. and Swine Lake is the biggest lake in Sweet Swine County. Mm, it's oh, nice. it's a beautiful place. And the best thing about it is I'm living right next to 
Lonesome Ron. Oh, Lonesome Ron. I just kidding, love huh? Lonesome Ron. And ladies mm -hmm. and gentlemen, Lonesome Ron is a yodeling cowboy from Mankato. We need to see if we can get him on the show. That's a good mm. idea. You'd really enjoy his singing. Well, Billy, we know that you are very famous in the area mm -hmm. as an artist and as an entertainer. Thank you very much. I've enjoyed a lot of years of pursuing my interests. So, Billy, tell us a little bit about your art. Well, I started out as a young child playing with color crayons, and then I got into pastels and into acrylic paints and oil paints and house paint. House paint? Really? <laughs> house wow. paint, which yeah. I use for painting murals. I've done some work for um, Tanya Tucker, did some portrait work of her oh. children and herself, and oh. also designed some starware like Prairie Anna's wearing, the Western outfits hmm. that are designed by hand painting. Suits and uh, I call it Wild Billy Starware. Giddy up. <laughs> <laughs> Can you show us some of your other work, Billy? Yes, I did bring a couple pieces of my artwork right here. We have um, like a poster art of a salute to the Grand Ole Opry with Minnie Pearl and Grandpa Jones. Oh, and cute. back here behind the chair, we have a, a Western painting of what might have happened in the 1800s mm. when the wild cowboys mm. came into the cowboys. saloon. Cowboys. <laughs> cowboys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. This one will be going to Texas this fall. Really? That's yes. beautiful. Mm. Thank you. And I also had the opportunity to do some artwork for um, uh, Our Story Studios. They asked me to do um, a mural of Betsy Palmer and Will Hutchins. Oh, yeah. They came, um, was that two summers ago? Mm -hmm. Two summers ago they came and um, we had our pictures taken with uh, murals and they signed them and that was great fun. I know Betsy. Mm -hmm. I do. You know, we're, we have the same vet so we're... You're close. We're, we're BFFs. <laughs> yeah. And I got to do some artwork for this wonderful restaurant named Edie's. Oh, I painted wow. the people who yeah. first started the the restaurant. It's Ron and uh, his mother Edie and the other son Randy. Yeah. Oh I love Edie's. Mm. Great hash browns. Pancakes. Pancakes. Mm. Great atmosphere. It's just a very wonderful nice place restaurant. To eat. Yes, definitely. Yes. Very nice restaurant. A and family did, place yeah. to go. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they did feature that on uh, the show as the corn grows. So tell me Billy, have you looked have you seen any of the reports that we've done about Switzerland County? Yes I have and I just love them. Really mm -hmm. do. Very happy to hear that. And now, let's go and take a look at another great Southern Minnesota community. Hi, Professor Jay Vontron here in my time machine. Been looking at different communities in the past and the present. Well, my, my machine, my time machine stopped. It says Minnesota, and it says today. Well, we haven't gone in the past, but let's take a look at this community. Mandelia, the pride of the prairie, where you can take part in events including Park Days in July and Younger Brothers Capture in September, where you can visit for a day and enjoy golf, shopping, camping, visiting historical sites, hike, bike, fish, and more. A place where housing and living costs are reasonable, schools are progressive, and healthcare is advanced. Stop by Medelia Chamber of Commerce to learn more about the pride of the prairie. Well, let's look around a little more and see what different businesses they have. I'm glad I landed here with great businesses, great town, and our time. Now that, ladies, is hot. Another great town worth seeing. So, Billy, tell us a little bit about your music. Well, I started out um, learning how to play guitar when I was about 10. My dad taught me how. Wow. Uh, wow. But never really learned to read music very well until okay. we went to school and then I 
played my saxophone there and had to learn notes. Wow. But I still <laughs> prefer to play music by ear. Hmm. I had learned to play fiddle when I was 17. Hmm. And we have a family band that's still working called the BKs. And uh, I have um, a new CD out. It's oh. right here. It's called oh. Yellow Cowboy Boots. Oh. It has some... Um, 14 original songs on it that I've written, and I think I'd like to do a tune oh. off of there, the title cut. Uh, I wrote it about my dad, because he had a pair of yellow cowboy boots, and he was my idol. Well, you know what? I think we would be just really happy to yes. have you sing a song for us. Okay, please. Right. He's an old-fashioned kind of cowboy and he sings with the yodelay He wears a felt hat, faded jeans worn and patched, and his eyes are sparkling blue. Life seems to dance all around him. His family is all that he's known. He is greatest dad, the best friend I ever had, and in a crowd, he stands out alone. Oh, daddy, did you know you were a brave one? Did you know you stood tall and true? Any step of the way, I believe so in you. Working hard and loving the land Now he's withered and old And his kids have left home But he holds my mama's hand And he still sings the song of the cowboy To the old folks and children who dream of a time in the West where he rose to rest and the world is better off it seems Oh daddy did you know you were a brave one Did you know you stood tall and true And he step of the way I believe so in you was just wonderful. Mm -hmm. Would you consider singing another song for us right now? I'd love to. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we present Billy Cruz singing her newest song, As the Corn Grows. As the corn grows, our story knows that family, farm, and friends are here to stay. And as the wind blows across the fields of gold, Sweet Twine County is my home on the range. I never knew a place so peaceful and so green. I never thought I'd write this song to sing. But everyone around is connected in this town, and I wonder what the days ahead will bring. As the corn grows, our story knows that family, farm, and friends are here to stay. And as the wind blows across the fields of gold, Sweet Swine County is my home on the range. When I moved in by the lake in a cabin in the spring, I thought I'd hide away in solitude. A friendship 
big band grow when my neighbors said hello. I fell in love with their country attitude. As the corn grows, our story knows that our family farm and friends are here to stay. And when the wind blows across the fields of gold, Sweet Swine County is my home on the range. Sweet Swine County is my home on the range. Sweet Swine County is my home on the range. That was great, Billy. Thanks for sharing that song with us. Thank you very much. Great job. That was Thank that you. was hot. We loved it. Mm -hmm. That Thank was you. hot, Billy. It really was. So now let's take a moment for another town outside Sweet Swine County, shall we? Good to you. Yes. Oh, hello again. Colonel Von Brager here. I was just going over some of my adventures here in my journal. Have I ever told you about the time I was on safari in Africa? Ah, uh, perhaps not. Or the time I flew over uncharted waters in the Black Sea. Ah, uh, there again, perhaps I haven't shared that with you. Well, these are some of my adventures. And I'm going to be doing other adventures now in the South, specifically Southern Minnesota, visiting towns and communities. In fact, we're taking an adventure today. Why don't you join me as we go to... Gaylord, Minnesota is located 60 miles southwest of the Twin Cities metropolitan area and is home to the Sibley County Courthouse and other historical buildings. This thriving community is comprised of education, healthcare, recreational amenities, agriculture, business, and industry. Gaylord is successful because people come together with a desire to promote this as the best community for families, seniors, businesses, and taxpayers. Bully! Well, let's discover some of the fine businesses and establishments as we continue our adventure. Done it again. Another beautiful town in southern Minnesota. Billy, just you did just a fabulous, fabulous job. And we have one of your CDs sitting here. But if everyone out there, I'm sure I know they will want one. Thank Where do you. they go? Who do they call? Call Jeff at ourstorymn.com. And you can get one off of the Internet. Thank you very much. Well, I'm going to need a CD for our dressing room. Is that okay, Billy? Do you have an extra one for us? Wow, Let's you remember you. our dressing room. I was just I'm impressed. impressed. <laughs> impressed. <laughs> it's not my dressing room. You finally got it. It's ours. You are learning. Yes. Oh, I'm so <laughs> proud of you. Now, how about if we go see another city spotlight? My name is Johnny, Johnny Hapke, and I'm on the case, a big case to find out about the downtowns in our story country. The boss wants answers answers to what's going on, so I walk the streets to find out what downtown that have become the greatest streets in Minnesota. The case is clear. Now I will take what I've learned to the big boss. Oh, Johnny, show the big boss what you found. Ah, Johnny, this is another great downtown, a downtown rich with history and a hometown feel. Services and entertainment. 
show me some more. It appears the talk is true. This is another downtown that has become one of the greatest streets in Minnesota. Another fabulous town, another wonderful guest, the, the very creative and musical Billy Cruz. Yes. And the end of our show has come. We had great city spotlights, and we are just keeping our audience who we thank for watching, and I know our ratings are going up as we speak, mm -hmm. but thank you for uh, joining us, the Women of Sweet Swine County. That's right. We are the, the women, women of, of Sweet Swine County. Bye-bye.